Wrist don't gloss. Put my own ish, yeah, it costs to be a boss. Post magazine. Um, let's talk about your brand because I see you're very active on social media. Okay. Uh, let's talk about that, how it came about when you first, um, you know, founded it and, and that. Okay. Uh, we, we, we first launched in 2013. Uh, our post magazine came around. Uh, uh, one day I was around with a guy, you know what I'm saying, that was a graphic designer with me. He was doing some business things. Um, he said, man, is there anything that you want to do that you ever thought about doing? And I had a brainstorm. I said, yeah, man, I want to do a magazine. He said, you sure you want to do that? I said, yeah, man, let's go ahead and try. So, you know, uh, you know, keywords is, is crucial when you're punching in keywords, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. We Googled it, put it together. Uh, we seen a company called jumag.com. Um, and he was like, what you want to call it? We got the brainstorm, man. I said, man, you know, nothing starts without a post, man. It's called a post magazine. Mm -hmm. He said, you want to go ahead and do that? So we looked up, the, you know, looked it up, looked it up. And she said, it's a bunch of posts and magazines. And I was like, all right. I said, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually put a symbol of the post to make ours different and give us the hashtag uh, we got next. He said, yeah, that's, that's wrong with that. So we ran with it in, um, like, 2013. We really done it. This is, like, my third time really doing it, relaunching the magazine issue, though. We didn't done this before. Um, you know, I had bought people in. I had a whole team. We had a prison, stuff like that. I had an actual office in downtown Houston off of Texas Avenue across the street from the J.W. Marriott. Okay, we're familiar with that yeah, area. Yeah, so, so, you know, I actually on the seventh floor with the same, the, the, you know what I'm saying, I, I was up in there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we tried to do that. Um, you know, when you bring people in, uh, even with the models, the financials of people, you know, personal, whatever, you know right. what I'm saying, and stuff. Um, and so, I had shut it down. And this is when this... Um, when the internet started moving with the um, that agenda with the skinny jeans, um, mm -hmm. the uh, fake body parts and stuff like that, and I was like, we can't do this. Like, I'm not about to jeopardize of what the vision of what we really had to do with this, though. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to go ahead um, and give a voice to the voices, though. Really, for a post, though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was an artist myself. And so I know I know we used to go to venues and people like, man, I know somebody, I know somebody, my people on, my people on, we get there, nobody's there, it's crickets out there chirping. We didn't travel from one end side of town, you know what I'm saying, to stop and take state of Texas to the other state or we didn't went to the Oklahoma whatever. And these people are like, man, I don't know what happened. Like, and you can't do nothing about it. You didn't came out of pocket, so so I just know how that see how that felt. Yeah. And I was like, Well if I can ever do something for somebody, I'ma do it. And I want to still be in the entertainment industry, but I this is, I was like, well, this is going to be my calling. You can do the background check. You can put people on, showcase real talent, though. And so when we really, uh, like I said, we really started, um, we used to put, like, a lot of artists from SoundCloud and Reverb Nation because them was the real artists to me, though. You know what I'm right, saying? Facts. Now this, all this watered down and all this, and you got to do this and this. Like, man, I don't care about none of that, though. I need some real stories. If you can paint the picture for me because that's right. what an artist is. And I can see myself walking through this and going through this experience no matter what color you are, the genre is. You artist me. You got me so, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what we was doing it though. Um and then you know the models we kinda of brought them in too, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. Um we used to do like four issues a month. We used to do like a sports issue, um, a regular model issue, this for regular models. We used to do the lingerie issue for the you know, kind of risky stuff like that with the stuff the Instagram before they flag you and, and Facebook and flag yeah. you before the end though, you know what I'm saying? Before only fans came out. Before the only okay. fans. And so, uh, and then uh, we did a, like a regular artist issue too with the DJs and stuff. So we wanted to cover the whole basis though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at one point in time, I wanted to do like a Black Wall Street one. Um, I still want to work on that, that though. Been, really I, I still, I, what I wanted to do was kind of educate our people because a lot of our people don't know about um, finances though. Right. And I wanted to go ahead and sit down with various other people throughout the city, uh, financial advisors, some of these people that work at banks and stuff. And like, what can we do to go in and help put our people's on? Like, what we can do for blacks, Hispanics, you know, or just minorities, period. Let's, let's, let's uh, devise a plan and, you know, so nobody step on nobody's toes. Just mm -hmm. put your part in there, know what your piece of the puzzle is, stay in your lane, and then it's help, though. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to do. I still want to kind of do that, though. You know what I'm saying? I want to do uh, various different things like that, not even for that, but people with skill traits, too. Um, so we can try to monopolize and, and, and put our bids on these projects too, right. though, and not have nobody else come in, though. You know what I'm saying? To keep everything Houston based, so Texas is going to take care of Texas. That's the main thing. That's what I want. That's you know what I'm saying? That's what I, I, want. I, I like that right yeah, now. Yeah. It's not a lot of magazines yeah. out here. Um, I, I know Hollywood Magazine yeah. is doing some good work. Yeah. Um, that was one that I knew about, but it's not a lot. So whenever I see magazines, I'm always trying to push it, yeah. push the brand because. Yeah. It's always cool to be in print anyway. Okay. Um, so you have three 
magazines in front of you. Yes. Do you want to talk about each one? Like, okay. like what was the influence behind it? Who were some of the artists okay. you remember? Okay. And you can even hold the issue of just, you know. Okay. This is like 2017. This is like I wanted to like before we you know tapped out. This is the last issue we did. Um, this is E3. Um, he's he's uh, one of his sons. One of them. Um, um, it's huge feature in Houston Legends up in here though. Like we got uh, Point Blank in here. We got Kareno in here. Uh, uh, we got uh, Gangsta Nip in here. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Cal from uh, SBC uh, uh, Southport Coalition. We got uh, I know who uh, yeah. So we got a, we got a few people up in here. Uh, a chick named Candace Cooper. Uh, from Dominating Force, I think the radio station, I don't want to get it wrong, but she might cuss me out, but, you know what I'm saying? So, I think, you know, she's in here, she played a key part in getting this whole magazine and put it together for me, though, um, and stuff mm -hmm. like this, though. Um, and so, this is, this is like the last one we did before, um, uh, it's like in 2017, before I stepped back. Um, this magazine right here, uh, this is when we first relaunched, when we came out this year. Uh, the lady clip, um, she's from Florida um, and, and was up in here. Um, Miss Blue was in this issue. Um, her manager is in this issue. Um, we got Rillos, the comedian from London U Jam. He was the host last night of the comedy show. He's in here. Nice. Um, and it's, 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 it's at various though. We got a couple of artists. We got an artist named Diesel D. He represents Victoria though. So it's some Texas. It's a little bit all over um, with this issue right here. Um, and this is like one of the ones that became uh, post COVID, before COVID. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? Know how that was. <laughs> oh, it changed oh, a lot of stuff. A, a whole, a whole yes, lot of lives. So. And so, this issue right here is the third year anniversary. Though. This is, um, we dropped this to September the 1st. Um, this is what we had the release party last night on, on um, our three year anniversary. Um, it's 108 pages, though, so it's like three issues mm -hmm. combined in one, um, which is, you know what I'm saying, which is, it, which represents the third year, though. So, we had to do something different. Okay. Um, it, it varies. Uh, we got so many people up in here. It's a lot of models from El Paso, Texas, up in here. Um, uh, who else on the cover? She's from Houston, Texas, though. She's um, a, uh, a model and a photographer. Um, her name is the native uh, bombshell. Um, I don't know who uh -huh. I was up in here. Uh, then go through the pages. Um, this chick right here, Shaquita, she's on my, I posted her. She took the thing. She's from Grenada. She's from here, though. Um, she and she, you know, from the she represent from the South Park of uh, uh, neighborhood to the uh, Houston, Texas. Though. So she uh, she came out to the party and celebrated and stuff like that. Though. So what we getting ready to do now? We taking submissions for the December issues. Um, so any photographers, um, videographers, fashion models, um, up and coming up and coming artists, but, you know, something that has meaningful music, not just. I don't know what to say. What's going on? You know Popcorn. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like this, you said earlier, it's kind of watered down. That, yeah. Generic. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. people, like they got that home for that drive, though, that you can just hear it in them, though, that rawness that we need. Um, and just talking about something, though. You know, if you're talking about what's going on with the social, what's going on with our peoples, I, I like to hear that. Let's, let's address those type of things, because these artists don't get showcased. They they put them, I don't know what they do, put them on the yeah. shelf or they don't even do nothing and don't even promote them. So mm -hmm. I guess. And then you got to buy social media and you do all the other type of stuff that you don't have to know. So um, we want those type of people to get the exposure, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, and if you don't think that you have, um, you know, if you can can't, can't get a, um, uh, a professional photo shoot, it's apps that you can do it. Or, you know what I'm saying, if you submit it in and we say that we can't use the information, we'll let you know that you won't be submitted at the time and what the protocol is for the next time. Or if you say we can try to work with it, we might clean it up for you, though. Because you'd be amazed. We get these pictures and... Some of these people don't look like these people though. Instagram, social media do a lot of work for some of these people. Oh, wow. We're not gonna mention no names, but it's a Jeez. lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. not that's not good. But okay. um I know some artists too. Okay. So I will send them your way. Um okay. I know we we briefly mentioned COVID, but I don't I'm trying not to go past twenty twenty right now because okay. we don't know what to expect next year. Okay. So for post magazine, mm -hmm. as we get ready to uh, get towards the end of the year, what are your goals for the magazine? Short term. Uh, we can do short term. Okay, uh, like I said, we, we, we post the launch um, the December 4th issue from the company. Okay. I'm working with a, uh, a model agency out of uh, the United Kingdom called Rising Star. I'm going to do an exclusive issue for them. Mm -hmm. It's just them, they models, though, you know what I'm saying, from one, from one like 24 of their models out of the 45 or 48 that they uh, 
that they manage those. So I'm gonna do an exclusive issue with them to go ahead and open up and broaden our fan base for them, because I know they're gonna really invest and they can go ahead and say that they um uh internationally published. So it's a good look for both brands and stuff like that to get our name out yes, there on, on 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 there. Um, I got a back issue I need to put out too though um, that some people might have got left behind. I need to try to work on that too. So we're going to drop about three issues probably before December. But the December issue is the main issue for us though because we'll do another release party um, and the flyer coming soon for that. And got to lock in the venue and do that type of stuff. Okay, so that's in the next venue. Yeah, well, oh, the, ne well, the next issue will be in the, for, the, for December. But we we'll taking submissions for that. The deadline submission today will be for that for November to November 1st. Because we need about 30 days. We always try to drop every issue on the first. So okay. uh, every first, though, like every first of the month, though. You know what I'm saying? That's how That's how when we first started, we always try to do at least about 12 o'clock that night. We go viral. We try to go viral and send it on out and have it done and stuff like that. And you'll be doing another event? Yeah. What will this event be? Like end of the year or yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Type of yeah, it'll be at the end of the end of the year. I, I don't I don't know like what what happened yesterday. I, I might just go ahead and just do something for like people to come on in. Like if, if you if you submit mm -hmm. uh, and come on in and just tell you just come on and just come on show on up. Um, you know what I'm saying? I might do a fans appreciation this or something like that, you know, a lot of giveaways or something like that, you know, with the gift bags. Uh, you know, or whatever that we had to try to do a little raffle or something and, and just give away a lot of prizes or something like that though and say you know because I really do it for, for really y'all because without y'all right. the audience I don't it's, this one is this I don't exist and this one is this though so y'all keep me going though, well I will be say. in yeah. attendance okay for the next one okay okay so in December y'all will see this video. okay okay um so uh, we talked about the magazine was there anything else that you could think of that you would like to touch up on uh, well, I just want people to, you know what I'm saying, uh, well, since we get into the election time, I, I just want people to go ahead and Thank be conscious so on this, um, to, to go ahead and vote. Um, but what I say with your vote is, um, there's so much propaganda and stuff going on. You know, I, I, I don't want to mention no names, but I just, tell you, I just need for you to do your research before you go ahead and pick your vote. That's the only thing I need to say, because when you pick your vote, it, it's, it's going to really be costly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you know what happened in... 2016, I, I went to bed, she was up, and I, I, I woke up and she lost. So, I mean, so we need to know what's going on with the situation, though. It, it's really a, I say, a lesser of two evils, but, I mean, people going to vote and do what they want to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? You need to know about the whole situation, even with the vote, how the electoral um, votes play a key part, too. Because without the electoral, that's really what get the presidency, though, really, though. You I know what I'm saying? So, um, some people don't feel it really, even though they tell you to vote, the electoral votes is going to get the president. That's, that's that's what's gonna get them. It's it's always been that way. They had it set up. It would if it, it was just on votes. We wouldn't need no electoral college. So mm -hmm. that's why I tell people you need to go ahead and kind of educate yourself on this whole thing around. Now your vote count for local like sheriffs, judges, right. attorneys, and stuff like that. You you got a voice for that. If you don't like who's doing his job, or you want somebody, your people trying to get on home or get some appeals, or get these people in and get these lawyers out to stop sending them, mm -hmm. you need to vote on that type of stuff. Now the president is something different. You know what I'm saying? You, the hand is kind of tied. Uh, you can listen to all these elections. They're doing a debate, I think, in a couple of days or whatever. It don't even too much matter. These people are going to do what they're going to want to do um, and, and continue to be. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The script was already written before we got here. Now, you just got to wait on time to happen and see what it is, though. Because don't be surprised that who you thought that was not going to win is going to be again, though. So, and we just going to have to go through it. I mean, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? That, and that's all it is, though. And, I mean, you see what's going on. I mean, if anybody can beat impeachments or if anybody can beat any type of cases, it's people get convicted, and you let your own people out. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I don't know what you got, what's going in the pocket, or what's going on. But when you beat the whole system that y'all really created, then I mean, this man is good. I, that's all I can say. I, I'm not a, a root for him, for a fan, but yeah, you need to do the research. That's all I'm telling you. Absolutely. Um, also, with the um, with this Black Lives Matter thing. Um, to me, if we're going to address the issue with the Black Lives Matter, it, 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 it goes beyond uh, uh, what the, I mean, the, the protesting is cool, but we got to look at it from the whole thing. Like, finances is a, a good part. Like, if we're going to say Black Lives Matter, we need to support, like, businesses like me, you, um, uh, the brother, you know, what I'm saying, the cameraman, everybody. I mean, you right. said, if we're going to really say that this stuff matter, there's no way that you got all this stuff on. And nobody black uh, uh, was there in the, you know, said even in the fact that he made it. So I don't understand how can you do this or mention these people's name and you will never meet these people in your lifetime. And they won't even allow you to meet them. So I don't understand, you know, saying what's going on and, and you can't understand that. I don't know. I mean, I know it's 
without it's it's in our culture for acceptance or to try to be that way, but you gotta break that cycle. I mean you got to do something different though, you know what I'm saying? So, um we need to go ahead and look at that whole thing from the finances for our people, though, the, even the, uh, the police and you know, looking out for our sisters, you know what I'm saying, start walking through the cars, making sure that everything all right, texting on them, it's everything all right, because you know what I'm saying, our black women is getting killed, uh, they, you know what I'm saying, worse to us, it don't even matter. We just witnessed the thing with the Brianna, you know what I'm saying, another woman got killed um, by a black officer, you know what I'm saying, it was a, uh, a white woman, and uh, she got more money than what she did, though, and the brother in jail, though, you know what I'm saying, so it don't even, so, I mean, with, 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 with this, with this, you know, I mean, you got to be aware of what's going on. We're not saying everybody's racist or whatever like that. The conscious, but the system was not designed. I mean, they had two constitutions when they uh, when they when they made it. The first one we was in there. The second one they took us and the, and, and the Native Americans out. So that ought to tell you what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And they, unless you go to Washington D.C., you won't even see that part. You know what I'm saying? That that's, that second constitution, that the original one that they had. So I just tell people to do your research. Um, right. Also, um, you need to be aware of what's going on. Um, um, far as like a uh, job situation with that, uh, unions, not unions, um, you need to be aware of that though. Um, I just tell people to kind of get education too. Um, with this COVID thing, it's a good and bad thing. Because I mean, some things that they're giving away free money, I mean, you need to tap into that. If you got a way to go ahead and try to educate yourself, no matter if it's a trade school or uh, trying to go back to school, get a GED or whatever it is, though, so it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not cool. To me, I'm speaking to me, it's not cool to be dumb. I think you need to go ahead and do it. It's, we live in a digital age, so to say you don't know something, and you can go ahead, it's called the www.worldwideweb that you can ask and learn anything from illegal to illegal. It doesn't yes. make sense that they yes. don't even do it. If you can go ahead and mirror your passcode to TikTok or uh, <laughs> Facebook, then you can yeah. go ahead and remember your, uh, some numbers uh, or some true. type of stuff like that to fill out an application. And if you don't have it, there's people out there, uh, workforces, places like that, and people will help you. Though. Like, it's no excuse like to have not health or, or not do nothing. This is this is Houston, Texas, or Texas City. This the land of milk and honey, man. That's what PMC said, rest in peace, though. But yeah, we, 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 we got the... You got to tap into this though. You know what I'm saying? Like we have so many resources. Texas can take care of Texas. We don't really need the rest of the United States. It's good, but we're gonna take care of our own though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we buy our own. H E E B S that we buy our own. Like so it don't even too much matter. We produce our own. So we need to keep the money afloat though. You know what I'm saying? So um, we need to be on that type of time though. Like we need to, you know what I'm saying? If Texas is gonna stay strong or stick up or whatever, we need to really mean that and stand down, ten toes down. Like we need to really be on that. It didn't just be no slogan or slang. It need to be instilled, like from generation to come. Like it need to be like that though, because they changed the narrative, and people don't know that though. And it's a split right. in the division, and it's not. It's not even supposed to be that way, because we got the same DNA. They just a lighter skin, or this or something else. It might be something different when we got conquered, but it's all the same though. So, like I said, people just start doing your research. You know what I'm saying? Pick up a book when you got time. If you're going to go on YouTube, look up some different video beside a walk or something like that. There's something else that's going on. You know that's what I'm fast. saying? It's, I mean, let's go ahead and get this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, you can start a business, anything. Like, you know, t shirt, uh, selling uh, water bottles. There's so much stuff going on that mm -hmm. you can do it, though. You know what I'm saying? Even clothes that you might got that you don't even wear, you can, that's a, that's a store. You can go ahead and get it going. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, it's no excuse no more not to. Not do nothing to have nothing. It, it don't make no sense, you know. If we got kids that's like five or six years old, you know what I'm saying? And they doing businesses and putting up numbers that people don't even make that's grown adults. And then he went to college. It don't even make right. sense, though. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. We live in a digital age. It's, it's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can get it. You can get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we sitting around, people sitting around talking. I mean, people sitting around talking on the porch. You can make that a series or something, like a, a web show or something. Like, it's no, it's, it's no excuse for no more. Right. That's no excuse. No. You can walk around the neighborhood with a camera and just film that, though. You know what I'm saying? This real, you can call that a reality show. I mean, this is what I mean. Come <laughs> on, now. I mean, like, yeah. it's no excuse no more, though, that you can make these things work with so many possibilities. The sky's the limit, though. You know, if you can believe it, then you can really achieve it, though. If, it's, if you want it, though. If you want it. Though. Yeah. And that's what I'm on. You know. That was some. That was great words. Okay. 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 Post magazine. Okay. 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 So um. Thank you. Okay. I want to do something again, like when we link up in December, because okay. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm definitely going to be there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and then I'll get some artists okay. for that uh, issue. And okay. if there's not anything else, then we'll just wrap it up, get some pictures. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, well, you know what? I okay. always say, let them know where they can find you on social oh, media. Okay. Uh, well, we got Poster Magazine. There's so many Poster Magazine Instagrams. Oh, okay. Um, it's Poster Magazine underscore um, LLC. Um, it's Poster Magazine 
No, it's Post Up Magazine underscore. Um, and then it's um, my Calibre sheet is on um, um, on uh, on Facebook. So you can go ahead and uh, do that. I just tell people it's P U L S E um, T H E uh, Magazine M A G A Z I N. Um, and that's it. You know, I just tell people, you know, just come follow us or, or Google us. Look at Houston, Texas. And, but you know, we got next. We coming, man. You know? I don't give by my number. They be stalking me online. I can